guys, how are you all? So today I'm going to do the 2015 all level MCQ paper. Okay, let's move on with the question. So here the instructions will answer all the questions. In each of the questions, 1 to 40 pick one of the alternatives 1, 2, 3, 4, which you consider as correct or most appropriate. So when you are answering, you will get an empty sheet where you have to mark courses correctly corresponding to your choice in the answer sheet. Okay, then let's move on with the question. Which of the following is a vector quantity? So if you take several quantities like weight, time, speed, distance, then velocity, acceleration, we can divide them into we can divide them into two as vector quantity and scalar quantity. Vector quantities are the quantities which are having a particular direction and also a magnitude. Scalar quantity is uh, where you have only a magnitude. So if you take weight, weight you have a direction as well as a magnitude. Weight equals mg, so it has a direction as a, and a magnitude. Time is having only a magnitude, so it is scalar quantity. Speed is also scalar quantity, even distance. So the vector quantity among these is the weight. Next we are going to the second one. According to the standards of bio binomial nomenclature, select the option which gives correctly the scientific name of jungle fork. Now all the organisms in the biosphere has been named according to a scientific method. So that is the binomial nomenclature. You have the ICBN, that is the International Commission of Botanical Nomenclature, where you name the botanical items, the plants and all. ICEZN is the International Commission of Zoological Nomenclature. Those are the various uh, organisms, animals. Okay, so here jungle fowl, uh, the scientific name is Gallus lafoide. So here there are some conditions of the standard of this binomial nomenclature. One is uh, the uh, the name should compose of two epithets, two epithets. So next one is the first epithet should be the generic name, second one the specific name. Then the first letter of the first epithet should be capital and other all should be simple. So when you are printing it should be italized and when you are handwritten it should be underlined. So according to the standard, the correct one is the third one. See, the first letter is capital, other all are simple. In first one, both epithets start with capital, it is wrong. Second, all are capital. In fourth, uh, here also both are capital as well as it is italized, but both are capital. In first one, it is not italized as both. So the correct answer is third one. Third one, the gas which is used to produce margarine from vegetable oil is. So the correct answer is hydrogen gas. We use hydrogen gas to produce margarine from vegetable oils. Okay, then the fourth one, which of the following seeds is adapted for dispersal by wind? So that is vara. Vara is the plant which is dispersed by wind. So seed dispersal is occurring due to uh, high competition uh, between the relevant plants. So the, due to the seed dispersal, competition is reduced and also uh, the plants are adapted to various environments. Okay, so that's what dispersal is occurring. So it, it occurs in three methods, dispersal by water, wind and the insects. Okay. Right, the fifth one. What is the color of phenophthalin in the basic medium? So the phenophthalin color in the basic medium, it gives pink color. So when you add a base, when you add phenophthalin for a base, it indicates pink in color. When you add phenophthalin to an acid, it will be colorless. Okay, so it is pink. So this is one indicator in order to identify the acidity or basicity of a certain substance. So you are using pH papers, litmus papers and phenophthalein is one indicator. There are also natural indicators like the shoe flower extract, 
they nil cartilage extract so you can use them to identify the acidity or basicity of a particular substance so phenolphthalein is one such indicator now the sixth one what is the acid that is used for coagulation of rubber latex so for rubber latex coagulation we are using sulfur to vulcanize rubber now so that's what they have asked in a different manner so we are using sulfuric acid h2so4 now the seventh one which of the following is an amphoteric oxide amphoteric oxide is having both acidic and basic properties that is aluminium oxide so if you take a period if you take the third period from sodium to uh, neon sorry sodium to argon so they are on the left to right of a period what happens is basicity decreases and acidity increases among that aluminium oxide is amphoteric oxide where it shows both acidic and basic properties now 18th one which of the following can be used as a disinfectant so disinfectant that means again the infect against the infections that is chlorine chlorine we are using against the water molecule so so that it will cleanse the water with infection so chlorine is the best answer ninth one the catalyst which is used in the manufacture of sulfuric acid by the contact method so we have in the rate of reaction lesson uh, we are the catalyst the use of catalyst in order to increase the rate of reaction so to manufacture sulfuric acid by contact method is vanadium pentoxide okay tenth one monocotyledon plants so we can group the plants actually the flowering plants as monocots and dicots monocots is having only one cotyledon in seed dicots is having two cotyledons in a seed so here they are expecting for a feature of a monocotyledon plant they are trimerous flowers that is correct because dicot have penta uh, tetramerous flowers second show secondary growth no monocots does not show secondary growth but dicot show possess leaves with a reticular venation so that is also dicot plants have a tap root system that is also dicot monocots have parallel venation leaves and fibrous root system so here the answer is the first one 11th one in which of the following instances does a chemical change occur so there are two types of changes chemical changes and physical changes in physical changes a change is occurring by the same state like water to liquid uh, sorry water to liquid water into solid ice so those are all physical changes in chemical changes new substances should generate now in vaporization of water liquid to gas here only a state change is occurring no any chemical change second one in burning of firewood that is of course a chemical change because uh, here the firewood is turning into ashes after you burn in melting of wax here also the candle solid wax is turning into liquid wax you also know chemical change in melting of mothballs mothballs are we say condes so they are also no chemical change only state changes are occurring so second one is the most suitable answer 12th one who is the tertiary consumer in this food web so if you take a food web you have the primary consumer then secondary next one is tertiary okay so tertiary is the last one here plants are primary consumers rabbit cock rat th those are all um secondary consumers okay so here the most suitable answer for a tertiary consumer is the python or the hawk we can take hawk would be more suitable i hope Okay, then let's move on further. Thirteenth one, select the option which gives a type of non-granulocytes and a type of granulocytes respectively. So, if you take white blood cells, we can divide them into non-granulocytes and granulocytes. So, granulocytes. So, if you take in a white blood cell, so they are the nucleus is like linked with granules. So, that's we call granulocytes so lymphocytes and monos 
Okay, lymphocytes and monocytes are non-granulocytes. Neutrophils, basophils, and eosinophils are granulocytes. So here, then first a non-granulocyte should be first. So lymphocyte, monocyte you have. Then fourth one is the correct answer. Now the fourteenth one. The number of lone pair electrons around O atom in a H2O molecule. So H2O molecule if you take. This is an H2O molecule. Oxygen is 8 then 2 comma 6. So in the valence shell it has 6 electrons. It gives 1 for this hydrogen and 1 for this hydrogen. So it will have only 4. 4 lone pair electrons. So they are asking number of lone pair. So here. So here you have 2 pairs of lone pair electron. Ok. So 2 is the answer not 4. Fifteenth one. On a certain day in New Aurelia town, the daytime temperature was 16 degree Celsius and nighttime temperature was 4 degree Celsius. What is the temperature difference between day and night in New Aurelia town on that day in Calvin? So if we take the temperature difference, 16 minus 4, it will be 12. So this 12 degree Celsius you have to convert to Kelvin. So what you have to do is you have to add 273 for 12. Then the answer you are getting is 285 Kelvin. 285 Kelvin. So if you want to convert Celsius degrees to degree Celsius to Kelvin, you have to add 273. If you want to convert Kelvin to degree Celsius, you have to subtract 273. That is the formula. Sixteenth one, what is the number of double bonds in an isoprene molecule? Isoprene is the monomer of the rubber. So the number of double bonds is 2. Seventeenth one, Kamal works in a glass factory for a long period of time. In a medical test, it was revealed that his lung uh, tissues are getting deteriorated gradually. Accordingly, which disease is Kamal suffering from? Here they have given the uh, diseases, so asbestosis, bronchitis, gastritis and silicosis. So, uh, as this is a lung tissue is getting deteriorated, most probably this is associated with the respiratory system, so gastritis won't come. Now, bronchitis is the inflammation in the bronchioles, so it also won't come. So, here the most suitable answer is silicosis. So, if if a person is working in a factory associated with silicon, so the silicons get deposited and lung tissues get deteriorated. So silicosis is the disease condition of this. Okay. Eighteenth. In the asexual reproduction, so you we have two types of reproduction, sexual and asexual. Sexual reproduction is occurring due to the fusion of gametes. Asexual reproduction is due to the plantation of vegetative plants. So it is mostly observed in the plants. So a large number of offsprings is produced in a short period of time. Yes, it is. Meiosis occurs. No, mitosis only occurs in asexual reproduction. Gametes are produced. No, it is in sexual reproduction. New species with better adaptation to environment are produced. No, it is also in sexual reproduction. So here the answer is the first one. Nineteenth one. The focal length of a mirror is 30 cm. When an object is kept on the principal axis of the mirror, the image formed by the mirror is real and its size is equal to the size of the object. The distance from the mirror to the object. First, we have to identify where the object is kept. Now, see, they say it is real and its size is equal to the size of the object. That means it is kept on the center. Okay. It is kept on the center point. So the center to the circle, the middle of that is the focal point. Okay. So center to the focal point is the focal length. It is 30 centimeter. So here also the object distance will be double of that. That is 60 centimeter. Okay. The double of that only will be the object length. Alright. 
so when you draw a image so here you have the p the pole then the focal point then the center so this will become the focal length so if the object is in center point it will be double the focal length okay 60 cm distance from the mirror to the object is 60 cm 20th one a diagram of a muscle tissue is given below. Select the option which gives correctly the name of this muscle tissue and its function. Now we have three types of muscle tissues. Cardiac muscle, skeletal muscle and smooth muscle cell. Now here if we observe this one. See the cells are branched and striated. Okay. Strengths are branched and striated. So skeletal muscle and cardiac muscle both are striated. But only cardiac muscle is striated and branched okay both cardiac muscle so here it should be e the first one or the fourth one we can reject second and third now we found that it is cardiac muscle now the function cardiac muscle is found only in the heart okay so heart should function voluntarily or involuntarily it should function absolutely involuntarily and lifelong it should function because it is an important organ so cardiac muscle is involuntary controlled. So here the correct answer is the fourth one. Okay, fourth one is the correct answer. So now I am done with uh, discussing the first 20 MCQs. Hope to do more with you all. Keep awaiting. Thank you for watching.